God has promised by Ellen G. White. God stands back of every promise he has made. Encouraging promises compiled from the writings of Ellen G. White. Are you discouraged? It is Satan's work to discourage the soul. It is Christ's work to inspire with faith and hope. Satan is ready to steal away the blessed assurances of God. He desires to take every glimmer of hope and every ray of light from the soul. But you must not permit him to do this. Exercise faith. Fight the good fight of faith. Wrestle with these doubts. Become acquainted with the promises. Christian life is more than many take it to be. It does not consist wholly in gentleness, patience, meekness, and kindliness. These graces are essential, but there is need also of courage, force, energy, and perseverance. The path that Christ marks out is a narrow, self-denying path. To enter that path and press on through difficulties and discouragements requires men who are more than weaklings. Instead of thinking of your discouragements, Think of the power you can claim in Christ's name. Let your thoughts be directed to the evidences of the great love of God for you. Faith can endure trial, resist temptation, bear up under disappointment. Jesus lives as our advocate. All is ours that his mediation secures. All experiences and circumstances are God's workmen whereby good is brought to us. When, in faith, we take hold of his strength, he will change, wonderfully change, the most hopeless, discouraging outlook. Do not dishonour God by words of repining, but praise him with heart and soul and voice. Do this and see how smoothly everything will go. Some look always at the objectionable and discouraging features and therefore discouragement overtakes them. They forget that the heavenly universe is waiting to make them agencies of blessing to the world, and that the Lord Jesus is a never-failing storehouse from which human beings may draw strength and courage. There is no need for despondency and apprehension. The time will never come when the shadow of Satan will not be cast athwart our pathway. But our faith should pierce this shadow. God calls for cheerful co-workers who refuse to become discouraged and disheartened by opposing agencies. The Lord is leading us and we may go forward courageously, assured that He will be with us as He was in past years. We are too quickly discouraged and earnestly cry for the trial to be removed from us when we should plead for patience to endure and grace to overcome. I have seen the tender love that God has for His people, and it is very great. I saw angels over the saints with their wings spread about them. Each saint had an attending angel. If the saints wept through discouragement or were in danger, the angels that ever attended them would fly quickly upward to carry the tidings and the angels in the city would cease to sing and all the angels in the city would weep. But if the saints fixed their eyes upon the prize before them and glorified God by praising Him, then the angels would bear the glad tidings to the city and the angels in the city would touch their golden harps and sing with a loud voice, and the heavenly arches would ring with their lovely songs.